Welcome everybody. Welcome Facebook, YouTube. What's going on? Get ready for this, babe doll. Now, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? Get ready for this. Bunny, thank you so much for your donation. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, this is it. This is what I do for a living. What do you do for a living? What's up? What do you guys do for a living, huh? Write it in the live chat what you do for a living. If, but if you have your full name on your cop, if your name is who you are on YouTube, I challenge you to change that before you let us know who you are or you might get some creepers, men and women creepers, by the way. All right, we're going to play this sound for you. I want you to listen to the details. Bunny, thanks for the donation. Woohoo! Keep them coming. Listen with your ears. It's not written on the screen. You might be able to do closed captioning later, but this is live grooming April 4th, 2023. This is a brand new client. This is what I do for a living. This is what I love to do. If you have an aggressive, difficult senior dog, disabled dog that no one wants to help you groom, call me. Either fly me out and I'll do it where you're at, or you come to me. I will help you. You are not alone. I will not let you be alone. I will not let you linger out there in the wind with no help. I will help you. If you pay extra, I will help you 24 hours a day if you pay extra. And I'm not joking. Listen to this. She got cut off. Uh, she left a voicemail. She called right back to say, call me. I need help. That was on March 28th. So April 4th. We've been going back and forth every day. She let me know we had a booked an appointment for 6.30 p.m. today. What time is it? <laughs> I was up with her on the phone throughout all day yesterday trying to plan how we were going to do this. I didn't think I was going to go live, honestly. Sometimes um, I, my heart beats fast trying to think on a new client, just listening to how bad it might be. I might not want to go live. Why? Because I don't want to lie to you. I don't want to do something that ends up being live and be like, dang, you know. I make judgment calls based off of how bad it is or what they say to me over the phone. So over a few days we talk. I mean, because I got her in pretty quick, right? It's April 4th. I was working around her work schedule and she's about to go out of town. She has a family member that she's going to see just in case it's the last time she gets to see that person. So they're hitting the road tomorrow morning early. So we were going to do a 6.30 p.m. and bad weather is coming today too. So then I said, well, you know, what do you want to do? I said, I don't care how it looks. This dog needs to get groomed. We need to get all the hair off. Don't let him get wet anymore. If he's matted, don't get him more wet. It makes it so much harder for whoever ends up doing the full job properly. It makes it, the knots and mats so much tighter. Like, don't let him get wet again. Don't bathe him again. Don't, don't, don't. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get your dog in before you go on this trip. Is it my fault she's going on the trip the same week she's trying to decide to groom the dog? No. Is it my fault the dog's matted? No. So I challenge you not to get upset with me when I deliver things that I end up doing a great job on. You get to watch through my eyes through the dog's eyes, through the owner's eyes, through just the situation, the services rendered. I challenge you to open your mind and open your heart that you don't know what's going on, you never did. You don't live that life, you don't live their life. 
you don't live my life and I don't live yours, which I'm not sitting here judging you. I just read some of the comments and I'm just like, bad, bad comments. Shallow mind, no openness, just a quick to judge. And as we judge every day, because we are born judgers, we challenge ourselves not to go there. You want to, and then you remind yourself like, hey, you know what, let me take that back. That's just, that's just I, didn't need to, I didn't need to say that, I don't really know. And I say that because I don't even know what we're gonna be dealing with. The briefing over the phone with this, this woman, this wonderful person, and what's funny is that I'll, I'll actually treat you like, I say I'm super busy, I say I'm overwhelmed, I say I'm working 24 hours a day. I'm on the phone with you at 11, 11, 20 at night. I'm up at 6 a.m. in the morning. I am constantly working. I'm overworked. I need help. No one wants to work hard. Getting help in here is just like freaking murder. It is. It, getting help in a lot of small businesses right now. And it's like, wow. So I tell them, I I'll tell you right there. I'll be like, I'm so overworked, but I want to help you help your dog. So work with me. And I literally was like 10 o'clock at night last night talking about, I'm driving home from work right now and I need to get this customer release form done with you. But she's like, oh man. I said, no, no, I need to do it. But that's how busy I am. I'm doing it while I'm driving home. But I need to get you in and I want to get you in. But don't get me wrong. I love being overworked. I just need you to understand why I'm going a mile a minute and I'm super hyper. I'm trying to get this done and I got 10 other things on my mind at the same time. And she's like, yes, ma'am, let's do this. And not only that, I'm trying to work with her. I said, okay, all day today, all day tomorrow, bad weather is going to come. You're at work. You let me know, and I'm going to give me 30 minutes to change my life to come in for you. That's all I said. Just give me 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes so I can come in, arrange the puppies so they're not barking the whole time. See, they're quiet. Ten puppies up in here, quiet. You don't want one? <laughs> I want that puppy. That's what I want, that one back there. Quiet right now. But what I mean is, I said, I'm willing to work around everything to get you in. And honestly, that's excellent customer service. That's even, that's above and beyond. I'm, I can tell you right now, people I've been doing business with for 15 years would not do that for me. They don't have the life to be able to do that. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to help people. I really am. And this is one of them. So we're about to see this lady and her dog who's 10 years old. And after doing the math, according to a veterinarian documents, I'm a pain in the butt with this stuff, man. But if I have you come in, I'm going to protect your pet like it's my own. So I, I'm a pain in the butt, but there's, there's reasons. If you lived in my shoes, which you didn't, you would know. You would know. And, and wait for those stories or watch all of my videos and learn about me. And how deeply I feel about animals and what I feel like we should be doing for our pets and our animals. All right, so she called and we went back and forth. I want you to know all this so you can understand what's happening here on the table when, when he comes in. The next thing that happened is, and if you're just coming in, please be sure to watch the beginning of this video. You're missing the very beginning. So there's a very beginning to this video. Rewind if you're coming in live. And hopefully, if, so, if my, one of my moderators can repeat that regularly, is just please go back and watch the beginning of the video because I'm not going to say that through the whole group. One of the things that's really important is exercise. I said, we're in a hurry to get, your, get you in. We're in a hurry to beat this tornado weather that's supposed to be here. I don't want you in it. I don't want to be in it. People drive like ridiculousness out here. So let's not be driving around in hail. Okay, so she told me this yesterday. So we watched the weather. And so she said, I could be there by 3. She should be here any minute. It's 3.01. She might be in the lobby. I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to go live, but I'll be recording. And when you get here, you need to walk. So she said, I just got here. We're going to start walking. I said, great. And I started you guys up. So here we go. We're going to groom this dog. This dog is a, this is what she said, and I should let you hear it, a Shih Tzu Terrier mix, 10 years old or 11, because I looked at the documents, unless the date's wrong, it said 11. Extremely maddened. He does not like it. He doesn't like to be groomed. He doesn't like his front arms or paws touched. Ding, 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 ding. We can maybe get some more of the storyline. I'll maybe ask her a couple things. Um, I'm going to try to do him by myself like I always do first. Separate the mom, the pet parent from me. The video is live right now in the lobby. She'll be able to sit, wait, and watch. Enjoy a beverage on me. That's how I like to conduct business. I want you and your pet to go home as soon as we're done. No kenneling needed if, if you don't drop off. So how cool is that?
I think that's freaking cool. And I'm recording? Shoot. You can't even get that nowhere. All right. Now that you know the history, let's go see if she's in the lobby. Man, those puppies are I heard a door shut. Grandma Shell, woohoo! Thanks for the donation. Keep it coming. Bunny, thank you so much. Welcome to level one of My Favorite Groomer. Thanks for supporting the YouTube channel. YouTube gives us the ability to have channel members here. We share our percentage of income with YouTube. They take first cut and then they share it with us so we can keep on creating content. Those of you guys donating, I really appreciate you. I hope you really like this video. I hope God is watching over me and giving me a successful groom today for this client. Aggressive dogs, call me. Senior dogs, call me. Disabled dogs, call me. You will not be turned away. And she's saying, I'm here. We are walking towards the grass. Okay. I love this lady. Communication is key. Okay, let her know I'm ready when you are. I'm gonna take this baby and turn the volume down. We're gonna get ready. Go ahead, this is the last chance for you guys to go potty before we get an aggressive dog onto the table. Be sure to hit that like button for me if you guys are watching. Don't be afraid to hit share as well. Hello Facebook, what's up Sue? Thanks for being out there, appreciate you. That's, I, how many people raise your hand out there is getting as many spam calls as I am? What is Serene saying? Dee Dee, you missed MP's donation. MP, thank you so much for your donation. Woohoo! I think I said it. If I didn't, MP, you know I got you, girl. I love MP. We hang out on a personal level. Like, um, I've known MP on a regular over five years now. So MP, if, if I ever, you know, and you know like how many gifts I've put in her orders, I'm only saying that because I definitely want you to know, strangers, that I will take care of you. I will take care of you. I do not just take. You know how when you give, you got, have you ever had that, okay, hold on, hold on. You ever have that friend that you're always gifting them and they never gift you back? Yeah, that's not me. That's not me. I'm the one that's going to gift you. And now I've just learned as I've gotten older, I'm not going to gift and gift and gift and gift and do nothing forever. It's got to, you got to invest in your friendships, you know, support and thrive in your friendships. I'm pretty sure she's coming in. So let me do, let me just get sit, situated here. Like last call, for instance, like get my, I feel I feel, I feel him coming. I'm serious. Everyone say that. I feel him coming. I feel him coming in, man. Everyone breathe with me. In, out, in, out, in, out. I'm not kidding. I have to glance at the weight and it says 20 pounds. So I'm not thinking Shih Tzu anymore, you know what I mean? We got that mix going on, okay? Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Serene. What's up, Bunny? I, am I seeing everyone's chat, right? Serene's on there? Okay. I left your like I pretty face. I'll give you 100 Dalmatian. I don't know what all that meant, but that sounds crazy. You're going to give me 100 Dalmatian. Okay. <laughs> oh. Everyone breathe in. Breathe out. And when you're at home, do me a favor, breathe in, hold it, and then breathe out. All right, let's 
see where we're at. Let me go check on them. Okay, hold on. Let me get my camera up in here. Be right back. prayers out there. Go on and say a couple prayers for me. to go down. All right, so I want to possibly have pet parent maybe assist with this. He, he's on a harness. Needs to be a collar and leash.
gonna try to let her help um, put the, he's really high anxious, older, wild, barking a lot, and he, he is, doesn't like my presence right now just yet. So I'm not here for training, I'm here to groom the dog. So I, I'm not here to do that. Uh, they did the walk, he was on a harness, that doesn't help. He needs a leash and collar on a walk. And then the harness can come after, if ever, because he's already 10 or 11. She's gonna put the cone head on, or at least one, so I can pick him up, or she's gonna put it on and pick him up and then bring him in here for me, we'll see. Training is different. There's some awesome trainers out there that I've been watching. Training is different. I'm not training here today. And I'm not even trying to brief her. I want him on the table. He's too excited. He needs to, we need to get the haircut done. Or it'll be a tough day. go back out there okay yeah. but we'll see we'll see just don't laugh on me I won't. okay go ahead and um, come around that side go around that side just yeah watch your step good job good job good job good job good job put them down okay uh, two hands on him so give me that give me that give me that we're locked in here. This don't matter where okay. it's at. Okay. No, that don't, you don't need to worry about where that's at. We're going to go head, his head not looking at me. There you go. Perfect. Good job doing that. Good for you. Good, try. Good for you. Okay. Stay here with me. Head looking at you. Head looking at mama because he knows mama. He doesn't know Dee Dee. Not yet. And God only knows what we're what I'm battling against. I, I don't know I what know, happened, where it happened, who happened, this and that, and I'm trying to make him like me. For, and I ain't trying to make him like me at all, actually. I just want him to let me do the haircut, okay. right? So before you step out, you're not on camera. See, so you look right here, you're not on camera. Before you step out, tell me, was there a past experience that heightened him? Or is he, tell me a little bit, two or three things, like tell them. He's had some experiences at vets apparently that have upset or scared him and he doesn't like to be caged. You know, the vets always put him in there. And he come to find out if he was loud as could be that people backed away and so the things that scared him, like he could get people to back away and then, you know, act a certain way. Yeah. What else? Um, he was found on the side of the road when he was just a puppy, and we don't know what happened to him before that, but he's been very nervous about most people ever, like, ever since. So, yeah, it's a massive amount of fur. I'm not even doing that. Are you capable of staying there? I can. Do you care? I'm recording, and we're good. I'm okay. trying to be real good about where you're at. I appreciate that. He's not terrible. He gets upset about paws. He does not like his paws touched. And we went to a park to hug some kind of. You say that, but like, the way he's acting, it's not like he's, you're saying he's not terrible, but I could not even go, go oh, up to him. Oh, I know. You know what I'm saying? he's not terrible, terrible with grooming until you get to legs. Okay. Okay. That's good to know, sorry, right? Everybody, sorry. that's good. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, hey, he's not terrible, but. Yeah. Right? Because he's going <laughs> to find out if he acts big and bad, people are scared. And then what he's scared of doesn't always happen because people stay away. You good? You can breathe. You're fine. You're fine. Nothing max. I see one dot of pepper right here. I don't know. So we'll just keep an eye. If I see anything, you'll know when I see something. Okay. 
But just, I want to call it out, because sometimes I won't call it out, and I'll be like, dang it, I saw something, and I... No, absolutely. Just so you know. You take your heartworm pills, so that's just you, uh, we, we talked about that. What, so. Well, hold on. It's just, I just am calling it out. I didn't see oh, anything I yet. I he might not have nothing. But um, you, we talked about it last night. What kind is he on? Um, Trifectus. Okay, okay. I'm familiar with that one. I went, did you see, I went with the longer blade real quick. I appreciate that. But I changed it back to the shorter blade because mats, yes. I can pull right in, I can pull the skin on the mats right into the seven that I was using. Right. So I, I tried no. to do something a little no, no. different. It's, he'll Does that make sense? He'll be happier just having all of this off of him. How long was his last room? December, January, February, March, April. Yeah. Has anybody had to ask you to sedate him, to touch him? No. Okay. Did the veterinarian say we should sedate him to do anything with him or anything like no, that? No. At the vet, if he's acting like that, then we muzzle him and I pass him to him like butt first. Okay. So same kind of thing, except yes. I didn't use the muzzle, we used a cone head. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so you're used to that. Yes. Okay. And that's even at the veterinarian. You're, is he good? You're good? Yeah, he's fine. Okay. He's doing the hassling because he's nervous, but he's okay. This time it's fine. Okay. How do you know all that? How does she know all that? Have you been watching a video of mine or? I watched videos of all kinds. <laughs> this dog is my child. So. I hate that I let him get this laid into a lot of me things, so. But so if you could, are you past the me things, or are you working on them? I'm past them. You're past them. Mm -hmm. you, do you know you're important? Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. You're so important. Thank you. Oh, no. You're so important, honey. So those of you guys working on me things, you gotta put yourself first here, okay? But he doesn't have anybody to look out for him but me. So if I'm failing him. Yeah. Reevaluate. You need to reevaluate. Look at all your speckles. We're so lucky, us humans, that we have animals that forgive us for all the stupid things that we do. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh. Did you see who that was? That's a friend. That's okay. That's a friend. That was my mother. Okay. Hey, you okay? I gotta be honest with you. I don't love the breathing. Does he have heart murmurs or anything like that? That you know of? No. No. He's healthy. His last okay. appointment that was, I believe, in December. I am working on that front leg, so. Yeah. I bet he's feeling like, ooh, I can actually feel air on my body. And that's sometimes a good thing or a bad thing, because when you right. haven't felt air in a long time, all of a sudden it's very nope. challenging. It's very like, ooh, they start itching and licking. You're fine, don't be sorry. Those of you guys I might send this video to, um, some questions are, will a two speed do the work? Yes, this is a five speed. This is a 10 blade. The seven blade went through it, but it's safer to do a 10 blade. So I switched over to a 10 blade because of all these mats right here. Mm -hmm. Pointy seed, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and Stuck that's what I was gonna say. We went to a park and we we're having a great time, and all of a sudden he just like stopped walking. Mm 
Mm -hmm. And he had so many of those, and I had this, I sat on the concrete and started picking them out of the mm -hmm. fur. He let you do that? Yes. He'll let you do stuff like that? He'll let me do that on occasion, but when he's done, he's done. And sometimes I get tired of fighting mm -hmm. when he's all, you know. Mm -hmm. he's, he's gotten away with too much, I admit. We are in charge of what we let everyone get away with. <laughs> yes. Dog or other humans. Okay. Okay, he's good here, but I am going to make him stand up. Yes. So I'm going to put this dog up plus under here. Oh, that's great. It's easier than trying to hold him up and keep his head, like, in a comfortable position. Why does that sound like you know how to do that? I... Or have done it before? I have done it. I groomed him. I just filled over this past year with so many things going on. Mm -hmm. I got to a point where I no longer knew where to start or how to get through it. Because I really? was trying to use guards and I don't have as good yeah. as blade as that. Yep. And all and the guards just get caught and then he's like, you know, he's it scares him or he yikes and I worry I hurt him, so hey. Yeah. Oh, uh uh. Is he trying to back off the table on you? Not really, he's trying to sit. That's okay. Because he's trying to hide his bum. Yeah. So far. Not that way. Saving the last part for the smartest part is the last. They will still act out and bite your, they could bite your face, so be careful. Okay. I'm not afraid of him if he does. Okay. my own fault. Okay. If I hit something that he hates or whatever. Well, I know. Okay. So, I'm not here. I'll get him out of the If you need to sit down, please let me know. I'll get you a chair. Oh, okay. Okay. Just putting it out there. You guys see how this, I invented this. That's awesome. And this is made in Indiana. Really? Mm -hmm. It's a dog up plus. And uh, those of you guys, see how I'm letting him sit his bum? Very rarely do you, can you see what the dog wants to do, but he'll act to get under his tummy with this under his bum, and he's still helping me help that. There you go. It's crazy. Because otherwise, I mean, you do this for 20 years, I'm going to tell you right now, your hands hurt, your back hurts, your lower back hurts. And holding him up with one hand and trying to shave an aggressive dog is probably not safe. No. So being able to put that there and have two hands to be able to work with it is really awesome. So if you don't have a Dog Up Plus, please order one. You can get them at dogupstand.com. Oh, what you doing? Right. So to his ability it. to move off of it is better than strapped to something where he cannot move, in my opinion. Right. Me and I both are running hot now. I got my AC on for you. I Down to 72. Oh. Oh. It's still running. You hear it, right? Yes. You get scared? Because I need it on too. <laughs> and like everything's covered in fire. So he honestly, yeah. So I see what you mean. The, he looks to me like Westy. When you say terrier, I, I didn't know what to think, but he looks like Westy. <laughs> Oh, he looks like a Westie, you know? You okay, man? You okay? Yeah, they said he, when I did the little DNA swab, it came out oh, yeah. Shih, Shih Tzu and Jack Russell Terrier. Oh! And I was like, okay. This is a Shih Tzu Jack.
Jack Russell Terrier mix. Okay. You did the DNA, right? Yes. Well, there you go. We swabbed him. <sighs> You want to sit down so bad. He yes, wants to sit does, down so he's bad. Like, I can hide my booty that nobody can get to it. We all go through things in life. And sometimes, especially in a death in the family, and I don't know anything about you, but if you go through a death of any kind, what I have found is uh, we give up. Yes. And I say that because I have a lot of clients that do that, okay? And if that happens to be one of you guys out there or, you, or her, when I'm looking at how this guy's peeing through this hair, through all the hair I just shaved off, how he's pooping, I think of myself. And even though I'm depressed and I maybe lost a family member and I don't get out of bed, mm -hmm. I still get to go pee. I don't pee in my bed. Right. I don't poop in my bed. I don't pee on my private parts. If it's too hairy, I'm going to shave it and lay back down and go back to sleep and be depressed. There you go. So when you are depressed, you guys, when you're depressed and it's too heavy, this guy who's laying beside you, this guy, your guy, your girl, you need to make sure you look at their sanitary and look at their nails and look at their pads. Yes. I don't care if you don't do a full broom. Do the most hygienic things you need to. You have to. I'm going to tell you, you have to do that for your animals that love you so much. Right. So next time you're in depression, next time you're sad, if you are sad now and you can't get up, I've been there and I get it. But I'm going to tell you, if he can't pee, if you look at his where he pees from and poops from and you look at yourselves and you can pee fine but your dog can't and he loves you unconditionally, please put aside your emotions for, for the day. Get up and put your emotions aside. Just say, I'm going to put you over here, emotion. You have to be there because right now my dog needs me. Yeah. I know it's going to be tough. I know it's going to be hard, but I need you to do that. Because when I see the dog suffering, any way, shape, or form, it hurts my heart. That I'm like, they're peeing through this. If I was peeing through my pubic hair so long they were down on my feet, I would have a yeast infection. I would have a bladder infection. I would have funky smells. I would be nasty. I said that, I never said that out loud before to somebody, to you or them. And a lot of people watch my show. Yes. And a lot of people that watch my show are at home a lot because I gotta swing that towards you. Oh and then you stay back. Yeah. Right. I a lot of people that watch my show, you know why you watch my show? Because you're at home. You're either in the hospital, you're at home, you're in bed, you're if you're watching my show a lot, you might be retired. You might be a groomer, but you might be a groomer that catches me late at night to see what I did. But you ain't watching me all day if you're working your buns off unless you're listening in your ear. I know some of you guys do that at work. You're listening in your ear, checking me out, watching on the side, because you can, you can multitask. That's where I found you. I was at work, earbud in while I was working. Really? <laughs> yes. Because I was devastated. Thank you. I was devastated over him and was like, I have to do something. There has to be something done. So how did you find me? I started looking at groomers that groom aggressive dogs. And That's you, what you looked at? Yes. And you popped up first. I didn't have to type anything else in. And I was like, wait, she's in my town? What town is that? Fort Worth. And I was like, this is obviously a sign. Yeah. Always say that. Oh, oh. Take it. I yeah. forgot to tell you when you were doing that. I'm 
so I was like, oh, I was going to tell you, um, always say, hey, can you groom my dog? He has two claws in the back. Don't cut them off. Because, yeah, he has one or two. I haven't gotten there yet all the way, but I was like, okay, there's a new claw. Be careful. I already right. saw that. But those are easily cut off. I know. <laughs> Armpits matter, that's why you pull them real hard too. So. so this is the armpit, okay? If this was your armpit, people, this is painful, okay? He might not be like, it's hurting. He's curled up next to you, he don't care. Just when you roll him over and you look, if it's matted, you need to call somebody, okay? All right, I want, yeah, let's look at mom. Let's look at mom so Dee Dee can focus, right? Okay. No danger. So we're gonna do this last armpit right here. And this is his least favorite leg. Yes. Is it? Yes. It, when I got him as a puppy, found him and stuff like that, leg was injured and he had a limp. And they said that his, um, what is it, growth? Just, we were just talking about those pinwheels yesterday. Watch this. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come in here. Let me stay right here. Look at this right here, this piece. Right there. See that? That right there is like a needle. I'm going to pull it out. We were just talking about that the other day, you and um, you and I on YouTube. I just pulled that out of his body. Oh, uh, that could be one of the thousand See? ones I tried to yeah. pull out the other day. So that little thing is stuck like a needle in his body. Isn't mm -hmm. that something else? That's crazy to me. That's what we have here in Texas, and many of y'all have it in where you're at. I know you do. Yeah. We were just walking at a park, and that's when he stopped walking, and he had them all in the I wouldn't go to that park anymore. I, I, after that, I was like, we're getting in the car. We're not coming back. And there's some in here. The downfall is, is let's just say I shaved one off. What and do you think the other piece is? in him. So tonight, when you, you need to literally, like you're doing, I've been saying this, like you're doing a breast exam. Right. You need to go everywhere. This dark spot right there, there's a reason that's dark. I would get up in here. And make sure. Do you see what I'm saying though? Did I just pull one off right there? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you need to do that tonight. Okay. Okay. It's Absolutely. a must. Absolutely. Because when his hair grows back in the next couple days, it'll start to hide anything. And the worst thing it's gonna happen is it's gonna get infected yes. and you're gonna see it. It will happen, it will get infected and you're gonna see it. It is what it is. Yeah. Sorry, I'll be a better mom. So you see what I mean? If you saw yes. that little black thing, yes. make sure you dig deep and, and really look. Don't push on it. Right. Be, pinch it up and see if you're going to need to pull it out. Okay. 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 Where are we? We're about to get into the stuff he doesn't really like. Okay. Okay. I got you. You got me? Or you? I got you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Stand up. You gotta do it. Try this again, okay? Let's try to knock this out. Let's do this. This is really mad in here. You must use a template and go under the mat, not through. Right. Under. If you don't know what you're doing, come take a training class or get the right equipment. Call me. Come to myfavoritegroomer.com. I will help you. See, there's another one. I'm not gonna, well, I guess I have to. I have to, I have to be here to pull this out. So I'm gonna pull these out, okay? If I see it, I'll pull it. So this is where one did get infected here. Do you see that? Do you see that in there? So this is what this is saying it got it did spit out, but what will happen is it will you're gonna know it's infected.
Do you have another one? Do you mind? No. This is going to make me take longer. If you need to stop, if you need water, you need to tell me, okay? Because I don't know. Uh, it does get warm in here. So I, I don't know how you're feeling, but I can't read your mind. So just let me know if you need a break or something like that. I'm not going So here it's really matted, like so we're gonna we peeled it down and I'm gonna come through and cut this open here. I'm looking for both of my tips of the scissor to come through before I swipe. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna go long ways. Everything set up in the lobby, but you ain't making it to the lobby today. <laughs> That's fine. I'm happy to be able to help you since you're helping me so much. At least I think I'm helping. You are. You are. You're giving him all the support he needs right there. Do you need a water? No, yeah, I'm okay. I've been running hot because of humidity lately. And then put a little stress on top of it, so I'm just, but I'm okay. Just Once this is over, you just stay on track, and it should start to take away your anxieties for this kind of grooming. And then once he sees me more often, maybe he'll start to get used to it. If I only see him twice a year, it won't do anything. If I see him monthly, it will start to help faster. If I see him every two months, I'll see, it'll start to help in two years. Even if you come in just for a little something, something, okay? Yes. You don't have to come in for everything, but something, something. Hey, bud. Purposely resting here a second before we go into some tough stuff. Yes. Before I go into the front, I guess I'll just go ahead and also do the pads of the back feet.
Here I'm using a 40 blade. It takes it off like butter so I can go faster. I'm a little at a lot. So I, um, oh, not. all 20 of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, dogs are not human either. Right. Don't do it alone. Okay, what are we doing now? You have the cone head? I do. The cone head will pull right off when we get there. Yes. So really kind of just, I'm just saying, if he's going to argue with me on this end, just be ready for that because don't pull the cone head off with I'm you. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I have my finger okay. hooked in right. this loop right here. So All right. I'm going to grab it. Don't move. Using a 10 blade to come down because it's matted. Mm -hmm. It could have been, the matting could have been worse on his body. The tough stuff is probably just here on the armpits, the front end, the feet, you know? Yeah. See right there? There's probably something there. Just recall, recall that. I'm going to leave that little piece right there to pull out, you know what I'm saying? Uh-uh. Okay. So those pinwheels and stuff like that, they're just like hair. They're awful, and I was so shocked. Oh. It was our first cheerleading him. Cheerleading him. Hammond. Okay, cheerleader. Almost done. Getting cheerleader. there. You are fine. You are fine. You don't need to see what's happening. What is that? That's another one. It could be a number of things. <laughs> okay. We're mainly sidewalk walkers when we walk, but you know, we gotta hit the grass so he can mark trees and things. <laughs> Obviously. We're turning the messages to the dogs that left them before. This is my territory now, huh? Mm -hmm. Any irritation like those, it looks like a draw, like a dot, boom, boom, yes. boom. Those irritated dots is where one is or was. You're See, like, look in here. Look in there. I know. Okay? So really, right, pay attention to what you're doing tonight. Look at him. Because you're going to hit the road tomorrow, mm -hmm. and you'll be too busy to look. So really spend 30 minutes nonstop just filtering his whole body and looking at, like you love him, you want to get the needles out, okay? Yes. You okay? Yeah. Make sure you stand straight up for me so you don't hurt your back. Look at that. You actually have a leg. It's not just a stump. That, he was so that, hairy, girl. I know. So much like, hair. He's like a mini sheep dog. Not well, it's been a long time, yeah. so it is a lot of growth. I would be a sheepdog.
job too. Yes, I would look miserable. I would feel miserable. I don't like no that's not done. What's that? Nothing, which I'm sure he has been. I mean, he acts like himself part of the time. By the time I'm sure he's very uncomfortable or itchy or. You know, so, but does he just lay around itching and all that? Not too often. Does he sometimes. sleep a lot? Yeah, yeah. As we tend to do. Okay. <laughs> Both of y'all. <laughs> Can I laugh about that? Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna I'm gonna challenge you, but because you're local, but all y'all out there, if you are depressed, you're not busy enough. And what I mean is if you need something to do, call me. I'm I'm so busy I can't be depressed. Like, I watched a movie the other day, and uh, I got home, and I caught something. You can come here now. I'm going to have you come here, and you're going to do this for me. You're going you're gonna to hold here for me. Okay. And uh, I got home, and I caught just at four minutes of um, American Idol. And it was really, like, sad in that moment. And I just cried for about four minutes. and was like, okay, back to normal. <laughs> back, to, back at it. I don't have time to be sad. And, I, and one day, I'll be sad when I'm dead. I say that, but what I mean is, and I don't want to right. be disrespectful, but right. I'm just saying, if you have nothing to do but you're crying, call me and say, Didi, can I come help you? Because the answer's going to be yes. You may not like the work, but you'll have fun doing it. You know, Just come and sweet for me. Just come, and mm -hmm. there's something for you to do. I promise you. I am so overworked. You know how hard it was to talk and everything. I texted you a lot more than I talked to you first. Yes. Because you only had a free moment to send a message or two until you were doing your next Message, thing. get to work. Message, get to work. Message, clean the puppies. Message, take care of my other dogs. Message, sell something. Message, talk to somebody. <laughs> package some packages. Do some orders. Mm -hmm. I know it's the do clock here too. Okay. It sounds wild and crazy, but those of you guys watching and supporting, thanks so much. Hit that like button for me. The... The funny thing is, I think I interviewed 60 people in five months. Wow. Each interview and each, um, some of them came in for training, it, it's a minimum of one hour, and training is a minimum of three hours, and there is no one here right now. And I realized then, you know, all these interviews and training really waste my time. Yes. I'm so behind when I do that. I'm so pissed, too, that they don't stay. line of work, but I've been training somebody the last three days at work, and it puts me behind. Right. <laughs> and you hope they stay, because if they don't, you have yes. to do it again. Exactly. Which I have done many times before, for either people that have, that have stayed, but we need more, or people that have left. Okay. Stay there. I'm going to help fine. you with You're okay. After we get really done, I'm going to do one really crazy thorough so that you don't have to work so hard tonight because I know exactly what I'm looking for. Head up for me. This is her dog. This is best that she helps because he loves her the most in this whole world. Mm -hmm. Not a stranger, not a helper, but actually her. The person who also loves him the most in the world. If it's anything like my dogs, they've seen me through every yes. every rainbow and every hell. Oh, you're snotty. There you go. Napkin? Napkin? I'm a mom. I just wipe it Okay. Do you want a napkin? <laughs> I'm okay. All right. I want to say, let me do the pads on the front feet now. So yes. we're, kind of, we're kind of making some way here. How's everyone doing out there? Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and share. Cheerlead for me. Good boy. Good boy. Look at this. Good boy. Let me look in here.
deep. You are. Look at me look in here deep. Come on, buddy. You're making me really work my fingers out here. Let me take a look in there. Look at that. Let That's me so look good. in between here. What a good baby. Good job. Yes. Go over here. Let me take a look. Least favorite. But it'll be fine. He said that was his favorite. Yes. I'm starting to wonder if you have more anxiety than he does. I might. <laughs> After we hang out some more, okay. you should not. You should be like, we're going to go see Didi. And it will start to change. Okay? okay? Sounds good. Does it sound good? Yeah. Well, you have to let it go when it's, when it's, you have to let it go. You'll have to let the past go. Inside here for me, see how raw it is. Yes, no, I see. I see all that. Think, yeah, because everything that was probably caught in there. Uh, so keep an eye. Yes. Okay. Let me look. Let me look. Look at those nails. I can't wait to do them. Okay, here we'll do the nails now. Did she say that was his worst that, paw? That's his that first leg. The I'm one just saying, he did pretty good for it. You did pretty good on that. Yep. Oh, wow. Look at you. You're being sweet right now. Thank you. Everybody to see you actually being nice and not being all mean. Trying to terrorize people. I think because he knows you're making him feel better, he might be a bit more calm and giving to it. I'll go with it. I'll go with that, right, you guys? You want to go with that? <laughs> He's a smart boy. Mm -hmm. Happen to feel like he, you and him would need to take a break at all? Um, I think if we take a break, he'll come, thank you, come back and think that ha ha ha. Okay. So we're just going to keep steady on it. Okay. So you thank you very much. much. You're so welcome.
doing is I'll be ended up chiseling around the neck until the cone heads come off. I may or may not do the cone heads on while I try to do a little bit of something, something with his ears right. with the cone head on still. I'm giving you game plans because it's going to go fast. Then we move into the face area. And I usually like you on the back of his body holding his face to me, and I'm shaving his face. Without curling my hair, too. That's all right. Oh, my God. Did you see that? Yes, I was like, what's she doing with her head? She's starting doing this number. No, <laughs> curl okay? my hair. All right. All right. So that's the game plan. Okay. And this is going to go pretty quick, okay? All right, so... Which position yourself. You you're going to stay right there until okay. we get to that, and then you're going to start, and then you're going to come to be here, and I'll yes. be in the very front face. But I'm going to have to do all this neck now. Yes. Okay. 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 So he, he's in the mode like, all right, let's go. Right. Take me home. Well, sometimes going out for a walk means he's like, oh, we're done, but then you come back in, and that really helps. So. Do you want No, no. Okay. No, but I want you to, you, you're looking at him, you hear him, you sleep with him, you know yes. him. If he's getting to where he's... Sometimes the giving him a break makes him think that he won in this whole... Okay. And we know that game. because she was grooming herself. Yeah, in this whole dominant game. He the thinks... plastic one is in there, right? Yes. Don't let this one go all the way out. Okay. I'm just going to play around here. Okay. I need a... You know what I'm saying? I need... Yes. It's okay. You're good. I just, right, but keep an eye on his face and do the um, cheerleading. Yes. Okay. I have a listing on myfavoritegroomer.com for both cone heads, one and then two. That way, if one goes flying, you have a backup plan. Please pick him up there. He just tried to back out because he's like, I think I know how this works. Oh. Good to you. Yeah. Now he's really exposed. He can totally bite, okay? Yes. So just head to you, okay? Head to me. Head to you.
this to you guys. So I'll move you guys here. Try something. Yeah. Okay. Try it. Let's just step out a second. Okay. Close the door. Stay right there, though. Yeah. Or you can go sit down if you want to follow. He might not let me do what I need to do here. We'll see. We're about to see right now. The TV's on him right now. You can watch that. Rushing him.
added. for a very long time. So right now I'm going to bring the pet parent in to do the final face change on. What I did in that time was build trust. And in building trust, he let me cl get closer and closer. But I cannot build all the trust I need for this kind of grooming within one grooming session. So in order to just now move quicker, I'm going to bring back the pet parent. Notice that he did not try to attack me. He gave me some warnings. He did a couple yawning, open mouth, wide, looking to the back, looking to the back, left, back, right, not wanting to look at me, but he did not do the attacking or 
growling that he's doing in the lobby. So we are making strides. Okay, so uh, ignore him, and I need you to take deep breaths, spread your arms, deep breath. Don't talk to him, don't look at his eyes, don't make any eye contact. This is straight up like drill sergeant mode. You're gonna get behind him, you're gonna put two hands on his head so he's looking at me. His eyeballs are looking at me, you're gonna hold him like this. Okay. And I will guide you in there, no talking to him. Hey baby, none of that. Cause now we just went boom. Cause it's still matted here on this side and got blood on this side. So none of that whole, we'll be here another hour. So go around that way, don't, don't, don't look at him, don't make eye contact, go around that way, get behind him. And then you can do, you can do this, no, no. You know, you can do no. Okay, no. And you're gonna inch, as long as your back is good, you're gonna inch your thumbs up to the back of his forehead. You're not gonna choke his throat. You're gonna hold on to his skull bone and his jaw bone, okay? okay. And you're not gonna push him down, that's, you're just getting a right. hold, that's all. He's you're just getting a hold. To sit and pull that's okay, though. that's okay. See. But just, no, you're good. Okay. No, just say no. 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 Turn it back around, use your gut right here to keep him like centered, okay? Head up for me, so that it's not pulling down on that groom loop. Right. It's really easy to forget, and let's just see what we can do. What do you need to put my hands, like, to move? So two hand, two, oh, two thumbs on his top of his skull, uh -huh. two pointer fingers on the lower jaw, okay. leaving the throat alone. We're not doing anything, but you, I'm letting you get your position. Uh, no. He's holding his breath and going in and out, ready to attack me. I'm not really looking at him. I'm letting him look at me. I really don't care what it looks like. Looking away is fine. Looking away is fine. No, no. Yeah, no, it's good. No, it's good. Don't, if I let go and move, you don't let go. Like, don't say, oh, she's done. No, no. no. So you keep your position while I do certain things I need to do. Uh -huh. little breath hold there, buddy. Yeah, nice little breath hold. Look mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Look up. Ah. If he really doesn't want to bite me, because my finger was in his mouth, he didn't close down. But I, I'm oh. not putting it past that he might. I'll let you attempt to put that on. We'll see how he does. Under the ears. Hey. Uh -uh. No. No. I think it's too tight. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hold on. Did you click it? Yes. Just keep it. Have him look up. The answer is no. Shift his body so his head's back here. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Good job, Mom. Head up. There you go. That's perfect. That is perfect. Mm 
Let's remove all that. You're good? Okay. Because it's so mad as well. Oh, yeah. It's better right there. It's been pulling so it's raw there. It's like it's heavy, right. tight, so it's like bruised, rather not an injury, but he's, this is serious relief uh -huh. for him. No. So it's just you and him. I got this. I got this. Just you and him there. Come on, buddy. You're good, you're good, I got it. Okay, I'm gonna reevaluate. Okay. Okay, but head back here, sort of. Just kind of, there you go. Let me check the ears. Don't let them jump up on you. Okay, that's good there. That's good there. I'm going to bring them to you like you love them. Like I love them. Like you love them. There. Don't let them bite me. Hold tight there. doesn't like well maybe when we get to know each other I mean this is a really bad first date so hold good here he might pop up and bite me right. but he can bite through the muscle but he doesn't like looking at me at all you know what I'm saying uh -huh. he doesn't know you and anyone anyway, who doesn't know there's a danger to them apparently I've seen it time and time and with people So I want you to consider whatever you do in the future, tell them no. 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 Don't lose hold. No. No. Whatever you end up doing in the future, if you don't get somebody through his senior years, it's going to be a really bad day. If he doesn't like them and he goes blind, I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be a really bad day. So you need to get to a point where you are set till he passes with, the per with someone who's doing it with you, whether that's me or someone else. Many of times my fans and I, I'll groom, my fans are watching, that senior dog at 16 years old, finding me at that moment. I wish I'd have known that dog before the blindness. Right. Because then the dog knows my smell, my voice, my habits. Because it's the same haircut every time. It's the same routine, okay? Okay, do a turn around for me. And I, I'm just going my gut. It feels like we're at like a two hour and 18 minutes right now. I could be wrong, but. 
So I hope we're done pretty soon because he's, I know he's like, I'm yes. done. And you feel it? Yes. He's like, I'm really getting like when I'm done. Be ready for a buck. How long are you out of town for? Two weeks. What password? I'm holding the string at him. He does back talk. To you? Yes. So he when, back talks you? When he's not happy about a situation, he really does like talk back. To a lot of people, but sometimes me too. When I um, mess with his paws too much, like when I try to clip nails and stuff, he will meow, 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 meow at me quite a bit. Stuff here. Yeah. Is his eyes always been that red? No. No. It's when he's mad. Oh, it's when he's mad. He, he, the rim around his eyes turn red. Yeah. It's I an see anger red. thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No. You got anger issues, bud. He does. We're gonna do a turn around. I'm gonna step back and breathe a second. Let you guys breathe. <laughs> Man, what a groom. You're good. Look at how cool you are. Very close to John Hunt. Very close. Okay. Same hold you just did. I'm going to do this side of his face now. Okay. Well. You okay? Reverse sneeze. You're fine. You're fine. We got this. Would you like me to take this off and just reevaluate? No. It's okay. It's okay. We're getting through it. Okay, you got too much congestion? You, you too congested? We got it. We got it. Yes, I know allergies are bad. You good? You look like a weird old... It guy. is possible that he... 
He's too excited, anxious, upset. It's all of this is possible. It is possible. He's like, yeah, see, I got to take it off. Well, that's, that's a little bit of that, but also he does have really bad allergies. And okay. Cool pill every day. Okay. Because he's oh, so mom knows the allergy thing. I don't. Yes. So that's good. Thank you, Deborah Fuller. Thank you so much. And when he does that little reverse sneeze, mm -hmm. but, you know, it passes. It scares him as it scares anybody. Mm -hmm. Yes. You think that you got free and you get to go? We're not there yet. I want you to make the judgment call. 
for him. I will keep trying. I think that, well, I know that I can safely at least get through this part myself. You can? Yes. Yeah. And the, way the only thing I'm going to do is we're, gonna, we're wasting time, wasting yes. time. But if you just get the hold and I can just try to do what I can do. Okay. The only thing I would be doing is helping you do it faster so when you get home you don't have to do it. Yes. Otherwise you could say, okay, I can handle that by myself. If he's going to be really cool with you, then do it at home because he's not being really cool here. No. So you, you know him, not me. The reason why it's important to know that is because one jab and it hits his eyeball, that's a bad day right. for everybody. So is it worth it? If, if he's at home and good for you, then... Uh, no one can groom my dog. That dog, we would always leave the face right there, and she would do that at home, no problem. Mm -hmm. But to force them to do it with me as a stranger, right? after all the things that he has been through, and his aggression, and he was matted, and it's new, and I have, he hasn't been in in five months, all right. that put into one and trying to do everything in an hour and a half, two hours, that's stressful for him. Yes. But it's totally up to you. You know, because I, I don't mind going a little bit longer. I feel like you're a really nice parent with a little bit less obedience than I, so you're letting him do things I would not let my dog do. So I can't fix that here, and you can't fix it overnight either. Right. But I would like to have him looking back at me and either put the muzzle on and get some of this chin stuff here, so that, or you can say, Dee, we're done, because you are the owner and he is your property. You're welcome to make that decision. Try to give this a go. I don't know if the muzzle on you'll be able to get to this. Well, I just I'm saying the muzzle on to do this under the groom louver. Oh, stay right there. Stay right there. Don't move. Um, something, something. Keep the mouth closed. Inch your fingers up. Out of my way. Up, up, um, let me see, anything in, not in the way, I can trim. So if you can move your fingers around so I can and, uh, head up looking at you. Okay. Can I, can you get? Yes. Okay. Just okay. get there, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Up, 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 Put this, there you go, over the eyeball. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It will work. I've done that before. Hi. What are you doing? Can you get like above my fingers? Shit. Watch your face. I'm fine. No, with my clipper. Oh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Boom. I was like, I don't have my whole beard out uh. right now. So. I need to see something. I, I can't trim nothing I here. Can't I can't trim. trim nothing on that. Don't don't do that. Don't give up on me. Oh no, no. Come on. Every time you rest, man, you're you're helping us out. This is too much. Let's move. Let's move. Okay. Don't let go. Like that. Don't let go. He doesn't like it, but don't let go. You let go like a snake, he's gonna attack one of us. Not a good hole. That thing is. Yeah, yeah, but it's all of things coming from yes. the end. All of it. I think we're calling. Yeah, that. I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. So you can get the rest over there. I think. Um, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, we did it now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you happy? Yes. I'm very happy. I know I can actually get this. We'll get home. He'll think he's all cool, and then I'll get him. Okay. If someone said, Dee Dee, you're scared of the dogs, what would you say? Absolutely not. You're just aware of how dogs are. If he bites you or me, what could happen? We talked about it. <sighs> what could happen? Well, first of all, could be a severe injury and he caused like infections and whatnot, but also he might have to be put down. 
So would I, I would I want to just grab him up and just let him bite me a few times while I no. get it done? Why would I do that? Why would any person nope. that's a professional do that? They wouldn't. No. Nope. Because that puts who in the game? Is that selfish? No. I don't you put him in danger. Yourself, but also, yes. Yeah, no, I don't even care about myself. You should. I literally am putting him in danger if I go up to him and just grab him up with my bare hands and make him let me trim everything. I can get that done. And if he hurts me, who cares? But if he bites me and I get infected and I go to the ER, he yes. puts, he's going to be put down possibly. Right? right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no. Uh, no. He can come off the table. You guys can go to the living room. Okay. Thank you for Thank you letting so all of us watch. Thank you. While she loads him up in the car, so I said, I know what they're thinking in their head. He doesn't want to be here, right? He's done. He's tapped out. And some of y'all just have some really rude things to say, but I'm not going to give you too much light. I just want you to know you're not here. And you're not here with her. And you haven't been here with them. And you aren't here with me. And you have nothing better to do than to watch me for a few years and still hate me. So thank you for your views and thank you for your time. Thank you for helping me do what I do because the algorithm does exist and the more you watch me, the more I get popular. Thank you so much. Now those of you guys who do love and are watching and have the, the heart of gold that has been fans watching for years and years to come, this is the dog I groom. These are the dogs I love to groom. This is the client I wanna help. Without judgment, I will help you if you have a dog like this. You give me a call and we will do it either by myself or together or we will do it as a unit. It depends on what your dog will allow me and not allow me to do safely. I don't want your dog to bite you. I don't want your dog to bite me. I don't want your dog or you to go to the ER because of your dog. And I don't want you when you get there, the animal control shows up and says, he's getting put down today. Oh, he's not vaccinated. He's definitely getting put down today. I don't want someone to do that to your dog, even if they are like this. If, you're, if this dog was running the streets and bit somebody and went to the animal control, it would be a bad day. They might give one chance, maybe. If you're not doing my job, shh. Those of you guys have chatted, man, you guys are yeah, baby. This, no injuries, no nicks, haircuts all gone, flurry stuff, not a big deal. She can do that safely at home. He doesn't like me. He doesn't like any other people. He's a senior dog. He's not going to be fixed. Matter of fact, I don't believe, and we've seen it on my channel, where go get a trainer and fix him. No. Nah. I'll bet you it won't work. It's going to take time to be with somebody, to see them come through without injury over and over and over. And we've been doing this for so long. I'm celebrating 20 years this year. Come join me in June. You do something long enough, you can start counting how many and how and why it happens. And you can see how long it helps and takes to repair. I'm gonna come back through and do the live chat. So those of you guys wanna see me go through the live chat, please stick around. I'm going to go check out the client. Thanks a lot for being here. Share the video so I can help other dogs like this. I put myself in danger every time I help a dog like this, and I'm okay doing that. I'm never going to let a dog not have the opportunity for a haircut without sedation. I'll always say yes. Thanks a lot for watching Didi Croy with My Favorite Groomer. We'll see you on every single social platform. We'll be right back to go through the live chat.
Okay, you guys, I can't go all the way back to the very top of the messages. Those of you guys still hanging out, thanks a lot for hanging out to listen to me chat with you. But I want to say thank you. Woo! Everyone say woo! If you can do that, just stand there in the store and go woo! <laughs> wow, what the heck? This by far is the hardest job I've ever had in my life. The hardest job. I thought working for the corporate pet grooming was hard. It was hard different. It was a different hard, but this is hard. <laughs> it's hard work. It's hard to think about the dog, myself, the owner. I'm kind of thinking about my puppies. I'm kind of thinking about the rescue cat. They're all here. I am celebrating how quiet 10 puppies are while I'm grooming a dog that's doing that. They finally are saying hello after the client leaves. What? I'm thinking about my time. It's five o'clock. So, did we start around three? Yeah, three oh one. Remember, four or five. So two hours. That's not bad. And we talked a lot out there. So even less than yeah. We weren't at two. We weren't at three hours. Three hours for this guy would have been way too much. You vote. You agree? Say I agree. Three hours for this guy. He would have been really upset. He was already upset. He was upset when he walked in. My briefing just now out there in the lobby was you guys need exercise daily. If you have high anxiety, if your dog has high anxiety, please do me a favor. Exercise yourself. Exercise your dog. And why not do it together? See? They waited until my client was gone to start saying hello. Everyone who was watching, thank you for being here. Thank you for your donations. If you donated, I appreciate you. Some of them have disappeared and we'll see them later on. Leah, let me go, let me change this right here so I can see all chat, all messages. Bunny, thanks a lot again for becoming a member today. She says, he sounds like a dog with that growl. He sounds like a big dog. He's, woo, must be the Jack Russell part. Exactly, you're right. One of the only dogs that's ever bit me in my life was a Jack Russell. Donna says, nah, that's a Shih Tzu in him. They can be mean. They can also be mean, but I had two Shih Tzus. They were not mean. My mom had one put 100 stitches in a kid's face. We talk about that. I talk about that all the time. Jack Russell and what else? Jack Russell and Shih Tzu, she got a DNA test. He was running the streets. Donna says it was awful for the kid's face. It was, that's awful. Senior fly girl knows of a kid that had her, his or her face also bit off. If senior fly girl, if you're out there, you can write that. They were bred to guard the temples in China, Donna says. Shih Tzu's were. Carlos says, multi poo versus Shih Tzu. Carlos, do you have a multi poo? Whoa, calm down, not in my shop. Yes. Carlo. I'm not sure what that meant. What does he or she look like? He's a white, obviously. I have Yorkie Poo, a Bichon, and a French Bulldog puppy, Donna says. Leah, is that a Maltese and a Poodle? So you guys are asking them what kind of... Thanks for answering everybody. Donna says, I will admit that I adore her. Not sure who you mean, because it's so far behind. I don't know. I don't really know. Sounded like he said done. So he is a puppy. I'm not sure, you guys must be talking back and forth. Yeah, one year now, yep, you guys are talking. Bunny says, Dee Dee, could she try the table hold? This pet parent is doing great so far with instruction. She is. The flat table hold that I like to do, I just she just could not get this other thing I needed. You lay the pup down on the table and keep pressure on them. The face of the dog would be off the table a, a bit so Dee Dee could trim the rest. It's a hold Dee Dee has used in the past. Bunny. Smart, thank you. Aha, okay, thanks, Bunny. You guys are awesome. I wanted to move into the table hole, but she couldn't even just get the, he, he, you're right, but I opted for the muzzle approach instead. 
She needs to let Dee Dee do it. Awesome, Dee Dee. Is this live finish? No, killer. We are here. We are here now, April 4th at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thanks, Dee Dee. I love the way you interacted with the loving owner. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate that. I love you as well, Leah. Thank you all. Sharon, hey, what's up? Thank you so much for saying great job. Thanks, Bunny, for the like button. And look at all those emojis you get access to now. Yes, ma'am, the flat table hole. That's a really cute um, profile picture you have there as well. That's super cute. Okay, I'm going to switch over. Thank you, Deborah, for writing. There were, the rude comment was just on Facebook. Is, you know, Facebook is something else sometimes, the people on there. Congratulations on 20 years. Woohoo! We're about to celebrate. And she says, I love watching you. Thanks for being there. If you guys don't like stuff, don't participate. Easy. It's easy stuff. If you love something, do it all the time. Thanks for watching DD Crow with my favorite groomer. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you on the next live video. I love what I do, and I hope you love watching me work. I love helping aggressive dogs have been turned away, banned, or cannot go anywhere else, or have nowhere else to go. Please tell them to get a hold of me at myfavoritegroomer.com. Thanks a lot for being here. I appreciate you. I couldn't do it without you. We'll see you next time.